Hello everybody, it's Miss Meredith here. I hope everybody is staying safe at home. What I'm going to be doing with you guys today is a little art project. Um, we are going to be making little streamers that you can put around your house, either for decoration or if there's a birthday coming up, since you should stay indoors, you can make it at home. Um, yeah, let's get started. So for materials, what you guys are going to need is some scissors. Make sure that when you're using the scissors that there's an adult observing you or that the adult is using the scissors when it's time to use them. Um, what you're also going to need is either string or some yarn, whatever works best for you. Um, we're also going to need some paper. Uh, you can use blank white pieces of paper or you can use colored construction paper or you can use paper that already has some prints on them like these um also you will need any kind of coloring utensils that you may have available at your home please do not go to the store to buy these things use whatever you have at home so you guys can use colored pencils you guys can use colored pens, you guys can use markers, you guys can use crayons. There's so many different options and alternatives that you guys can use. What I recommend is for you guys to get creative. So as you can see, I am making some circles with the paper that I have. Um, I'm going to continue making circles of all different sizes so I'm going to be making some really small ones some medium ones I'm going to be making some large ones so I'm going to be doing all different sizes um, I'm also going to use a cup um, this is just an idea that you guys can use um, if you want to make your circles a little bit more neat you can use a cup you can use a mug or anything that is a circular figure now for this next step you're going to need an adult either supervising you or an adult cutting out the circles if you are cutting out the circles alone make sure that you are cutting where the line is okay so make sure you're not cutting into the circle or you're not cutting out of the circle all right so once your circles are all cut out um, you can start decorating them now if you have any um, circles that are just blank whether they are colored sheets of paper or not you can decorate them um, I'm just doing different designs little patterns on my circles you can do whatever you'd like on yours um, you can put some stickers on them if you would like you can do a completely different doodle than the ones that I'm making. So I have finally finished up my doodles for my circles. And now we're going to create the base of our streamers. So we are going to start off by setting one little circle aside and we're going to make a hole in the very center of the circle. After that, we are going to get the yarn or string that you have and we're going to put it right through the middle of the circle. After that, we're going to get the yarn and wrap it around the circle and we're going to make a knot out of it. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to get all of our circles and we're going to be making one hole at the top and then we're going to be making one hole in the bottom as well. And we're just going to keep on repeating that with all of our circles. Make sure that depending on what kind of 
yarn or string that you're using that it's big enough so then the string can go through. I'm sure that you guys have probably noticed by now but I am using a pen to make my holes but if you have um, a hole puncher then that would be way more easier but if you don't then you can use a pen or a pencil but make sure that you have an adult helping you out with this step. All right, so now that we have completed our base and we have all of our circles ready, we are going to start putting the string into the circles. So we are going to start off by putting the string in through the bottom hole that's in the front, in the front of the circle. So now we're going to get the string that we already have and we're going to put it through the other hole and it's going to come back outside. So there shouldn't be any string that's like on the front, on the face of the circle. You should be seeing the string on the back of the circle. So you're just going to repeat this step until you have all of your circles in or until um, you have no more string. And then you have your final product. It should look a little something like this. And also, if you would like to do different shapes other than circles like hearts or stars, feel free to do so.